In 2005, the people of Burundi emerged from almost four decades of ethnic fighting and civil war. It's one of the poorest countries in the world. According to the United Nations, the average income here is less than 35 cents a day. 80% of the population lives in extreme poverty. The country depends on foreign aid. Social infrastructure, hospitals and schools are in deplorable condition. Children are dying and becoming orphaned because of HIV AIDS, malaria and malnutrition. In the capital, Bujumbura, UNICEF estimates as many as 5,000 children are homeless and living on the streets. Among them is 14-year-old Saeed. He spends his days searching for food. His home is a patch of weeds in an open field. His bed, a collection of rags rolled up and hidden during the day. His neighbors are a group of older boys living in a makeshift shelter, surviving on what they can scrounge each day. Dale Bituyamana, a Calgary school teacher and Canadian citizen, was born in Burundi. He fled ethnic violence in his homeland in 1993, became a refugee in Zambia, then immigrated to Canada. When peace finally arrived in Burundi, Dale returned to visit some friends, and he was shocked by what he found. Can you imagine a country that has been in a war situation for 15 years? Uh, social infrastructures are no longer functioning. Hospitals, uh, schools are in a bad, really bad shape. I visited my two uh, former schools, elementary and high school, and the, what I found there, it was really pathetic. That visit to Burundi moved Deo into action. He wants to help children like Saeed, help them to find foster homes, to go to school and have enough to eat. So we are partner with a, a psychologist organization based in Ibujumbura so that they can provide emotional and psychological counseling uh, to those children and we can provide them financial support to make sure they have food, to make sure they have shelter to make sure they have families that can take care of them. Mia is a childhood friend of Deo's. She saw how children in Burundi were suffering from poverty and from war. So uh, it pushed me to, to study, first of all, to study psychology and uh, to have an association in the rural to assist the, those children before having the, the, the disease, but after, after. Uh, you see, we have uh, been in the war, so I, I think the, the need is very great. Every Wednesday, orphaned and impoverished children gather in a compound in Bujumbura to play games and learn how to care for themselves. Saeed is often among them. Ce qu'on peut faire pour les aider. Bon, je vais m'expliquer dans le sens le plus profond et vaste. Normalement, comme je venais de le dire, et même s'ils sont dans la rue, même s'ils si, même si sont orphelins, et ils partagent cette souffrance de vivre dans la rue, mais ils ont chacun un problème individuel. La, la première chose, c'est les écouter pour qu'on puisse avoir l'analyse de la situation, pour savoir les causes les plus importantes de leur présence dans la rue, de leur, euh, de leur souffrance. Si une fois, après avoir les, les écoutés, c'est la construction de projets de vie plus ou moins réalistes par rapport euh, à chacun. Mais sinon, si on fait, euh, si on fait comme une aide collective, ça devient un peu très vague. Mais si on le on fait dans le sens de, de, de l'écoute, l'écouter individuellement, on peut construire un projet de vie plus ou moins réaliste par rapport à sa situation au niveau de la rue. Yeah. Nine-year-old Cynthia was a baby when her parents were killed during the Civil War. An orphanage took her in but needs help to pay for her school fees, food and clothing. She loves school and loves to help in the kitchen. Her goal in life is to do both. Mary Louise Mandrillo has become a foster parent through the volunteer psychologist's efforts. In the Bujumbura slums that she lives in, Mary Louise already cares for four children of her own, but she took in two more when their own parents, destitute, couldn't feed or send them to school. Because I, I, I have pity, uh, yes. Um, I am Christian and I want to help some others. Yes. 
Dale and the psychologists are searching for more foster families, for more children. And then take them back to school. We want to provide nutrition. We want to provide uh, education. We want to provide spiritual and moral support to those children who are on the street or those children who lost their parents during the war who are orphans, and support them in their daily life and make them live like any other human being uh, around them. Saeed may be too old to find a foster family, but he needs food, he needs health care, and he wants to go to school. Yeah. Yeah, I want to be uh, skilled like others. How will that help you in your life? We were the group of 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 the and the volunteer psychologists have set a goal of raising just over $27,000 a year for food, clothing, school fees, and medicines for these children. A modest amount when you consider it will provide a better future for 60 children. I'm inviting people to join uh, our helping hands uh, to make sure those stumbling kids can stand again. I want people to uh, give with a loving heart so that those children can have a home, a shelter, can be able to go to school and be able to read. So I want uh, people to answer uh, the good score uh, to feed the poor, a good score to uh, help those children who are in need.